secret that consumers are demanding more and more transparency from the food and beverage industries and want to better understand what they are eating and drinking. Author of 100 Days of Real Food, Lisa Leak has been watching the trend around ingredient transparency evolve since 2010 when she realized that real foods were in fact not real at all. She joins us today with more. So thanks for being here. Tell us about this transparency trend. Yes, consumers are becoming more educated about what's in their food and they are choosing to spend their dollars on products that have a list of short and simple ingredients. And I am always telling my readers that the number one way to know what's in your food is to read the ingredient label. So that's why I'm partnering with some brands such as Bud Light who's becoming more transparent not only about what's in their product but about what's not in their product. Can you give us some examples of what you look for on labels? Yes, I like to look for familiar ingredients that I'd cook with at home. I like to avoid unwanted additives, uh, artificial flavors, or anything that I don't recognize. And you know, you can see here right on this package, this beer was cl clearly brewed with just hops, barley, water, and rice. And Bud Light was actually the first U.S. beer to add this comprehensive labeling to their package where other beers on the market don't even tell you what's in the product. And I have some other brands here, Applegate and also Lara Bar. They have very simple and short lists of ingredients as well. So why is it so important to read those labels? Well, it just helps you be more, more knowledgeable about what's in a product so then you can decide if it's right for you. You know, that's an individual decision on what you want to avoid or consume, and now we have the knowledge to make those decisions. Okay, where can we go for some more info? Well, you can check out Anheuser-Busch's website, tapintoyourbeer.com, for more information about their products. And you can also check out my website, 100daysofrealfood.com, to learn more about reading your ingredients. And you can find my cookbooks anywhere books are sold. All right, very interesting stuff today. Thanks so much. Thank you. Coming up after the break, we are 